This is not what I expected to wake up and see today. <laughs> I was excited to get into Dracula stuff, which will be that video will still be coming uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I woke up today to Lights Out Mode is returning in September. It will be slightly different. Apparently, there will be a pick up and place lanterns down at generator mechanic. But other than that, uh, we're at least according to what we have information so far. Lights Out is coming back mostly in the same form that it did before. Now. If you are like me, out of all the Dead by Daylight game modes that came out recently, the alternative game modes, uh, you know, My Little Oni, 2v8, the uh, Chaos Shuffle, Lights Out was kind of the the black sheep. That was the one that people were like, oh, well, that was a, a cool attempt, but like, we kind of didn't like that ultimately. Not to say that it's universally hated. There's plenty of people who are like, hmm, you know, I actually kind of enjoyed Lights Out mode, but that's by, by and large the minority opinion here. Uh, majority of people in Dead by Daylight did not enjoy Lights Out. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about why Lights Out didn't work the first time. Well, mechanics like the ones listed actually make a difference and how Lights Out could potentially be enjoyable. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So why was Lights Out not fun the first time? So Lights Out, if you're unaware, is a modifier, an alternate game mode, kind of like 2v8 Chaos Shuffle, all that, where everything's just dark. <laughs> Everything is just so dark that you can't see that far ahead of you. And you essentially have to, as killer, track people specifically through like noises and uh, just general map knowledge and macro awareness. And the survivors have to run around in the dark doing this almost <laughs> to try and find gens. It's, it was a neat idea. It's a cute idea. I will say it's a neat idea and a cute idea, but in the gameplay flow of Dead by Daylight, um, information and interaction among the two sides is typically what makes the game run best mostly if you look at like dvd twitter uh youtube comments basically the main critique of dead by daylight that most people have is that perks play the game for people a lot and usually these perks are perks that are not interaction perks like exhaustion perks like life that you know you vault the window and suddenly the chase is over there's a lack of interaction happening there somebody somebody uh, let's take this on the uh, survivor side. Somebody getting tunneled out at five gens. One player does not get to enjoy the game. <laughs> they get out early, they don't get to play the game. Most of their critiques with Dead by Daylight is when lack of interaction happens or like the minimal possible interaction happens, but success happens anyway. So creating an entire game mode around putting a barrier between the two people, that being the darkness, and making it really, really hard for people to interact is kind of what a lot of people complain about Dead by Daylight in general. That being that, sorry, Will is getting into something. Hold on. <laughs> is anybody else's cat? Like you buy them toys and they just like like garbage instead. You guys have garbage cats? He's a garbage cat. Will is a garbage cat. Anyways, the this game mode by nature, you know, encourages stealth and encourages difficulty of finding uh, each other on both sides. And, you know, that's a complaint that most players have about Dead by Daylight and the other ways that manifests itself in the normal modes is that lack of interaction. And I think it gets even worse because what happened in Lights Out is the way that people got around this was to, once they found somebody, never leave <laughs> because it was so hard to find somebody in that mode that often when the killer would find somebody, they would just, you know, proxy camp and just only play around that hook. It would even be back to hook, which is another thing people can play about. It was just outright camping because like it was so hard to find somebody. So when you did, you kind of had to just like hang out and play around the hook because you if you you know let him go they you may never have a chance of ever seeing them again i feel like almost like paris hilton just holding him here but he is in air jail for his misbehavior so so survivors weren't really having fun because they were just getting kind of like either camped or tunneled mostly camped because you know Killers were having a hard time finding people when they did, they didn't want to go anywhere. And killers were frustrated because tracking in DVD is already kind of eh at times. So just not outright having tracking taken from you makes finding survivors particularly frustrating. And like I said, on both sides leads to a vacuum of gameplay in general. Now, uh, according to this, we are having a some sort of new mechanic introduced, which is that you'll be able to pick up and place lanterns down at gens, and these can be kicked by the killer. Um, I, I guess we need to hear more about that. This is all very, very fresh. Uh, behavior is like kind of being very, I didn't mean to bonk you there, but <laughs> very, very hush hush about this so far. Um, so um, I guess we'll see when it comes out next month or as we get more information about that. Um, here, go, go, be free, be free, just stay out of the garbage. But if we're going to reintroduce lights out to Dead by Daylight, if that's going to be a mode that we're going to bring back, uh, essentially the, the, the black hole there of, of interaction between the sides does need to be filled. 
There needs to be some sort of tracking the killer can use consistently that isn't just like hanging out at hook. <laughs> there needs to be some sort of mechanic in this game, uh, this game mode that encourages an interaction among the sides. It's okay to have stealth be more emphasized because stealth, while it's frustrating, especially with like perks like distortion in the main game, this is a game mode that's separate. So it, it can do literally anything it wants. It can do whatever it wants. So if it wants to emphasize more stealth and less chase, that's fine, but how do you make that interim where nothing's happening interesting? And how do you make it to where it's like, not like you're punishing people when they actually do interact? Just the way this is even phrased with like the lantern thing, it seems kind of like counterintuitive. Like if there were lanterns placed down near gens for people to get on the gens, then I would like not want to kick those as killer because that would be something I could see far away, something I can use to track the survivors, know what gens they're actively working on. I wouldn't want to kick those unless the lanterns are doing something else. But it is a good idea to like have like, part like parts of the map lit up and the rest of it dark potentially that's one way you can do it that way it's not like a permanent like like everything lights out everything's super dark but have it to where there's like these little like uh beacons of light that you can go back and forth between just something that makes it to where the players interact more overall it's kind of puzzling that they chose lights out over the other modes i think my only rationale with this of like why they pick lights out mode over the other modes is because the other modes are particularly like even my little oni which was uh <laughs> an april fool's joke mode was pretty fun it was pretty silly not a, not by any means a mode that could ever stay because it's so like two-dimensional but it was super funny um but like 2v8 is really well beloved and the problem with 2v8 was just the the queue time situation like the game mode itself like actually playing 2v8 was fun uh it was just that like you didn't want to wait almost 20 minutes for a game uh so that was more of a problem with queue times and not necessarily the game mode chaos shuffle is probably the one that people like can silly the most you can play whatever character you want the most um and it was more player versus player like i was talking about earlier earlier in this video uh a lot of uh, frustration dead by daylight comes from like very overpowered perks that like kind of like encourage a lack of interaction among the two sides um so obviously it's chaos shuffle they just it just picks for you <laughs> so it's more player versus player which is nice which is why that game mode works a lot um so lights out was kind of an odd pick i think for this overall but i think the rationale is that because of the fact that it was the least desired one that it's like the one that we uh did not enjoy the most that perhaps they want to retool it and try to work on it so it could become enjoyable that's my only uh, thought process on why they would want this one in particular is because they're taking that more as a challenge of like, okay, well, Chaos Shuffle, we could just roll out tomorrow as an alternate mode and it, it would do fine. Uh, 2v8, we probably need to figure out a way to mitigate queue times, but the mode itself, besides just adding more killers, which they're supposedly already doing, um, it already works. The game mode works fine. The mechanics itself are great. Just more survivor classes, more killers available better queue times then we're good but they kind of don't have an answer on currently what they were going to do to make lights out more fun and more great like they don't have a way to fix it yet so maybe they're giving us you know in true in true behavior fashion they're letting us figure it out by running it through again except with an added mechanic and see if we like it <laughs> so uh yeah uh <laughs> that that tracks uh one way or the other no matter how you feel about it that 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 follows their track record absolutely um so hmm yeah, I just want to talk about this today because this is like most people probably were like, I'm, why did, why this mode? And I um, want to talk about the reasons the mode was not fun, how we would make it fun, and um, why I think they picked it overall. So, yeah, how are you guys feeling about the potential return of Lights Out mode? Let me know down in the comments below. But on that, it's been today's video, friends. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. We've got that cool Dracula review stuff coming up. So, yeah, appreciate you all for hanging out today. So I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.